Good morning, everyone. I'm Claudio Pomo from Politecnico di Bari. And uh, today I'm, place, I'm pleased to present you our work, Ducho 2.0, toward a more up-to-date unified framework to extraction of multimodal features in recommendation. This work is a joint work by Politecnico di Bari and University Paris Eclé from uh, my colleague Daniele. My presentation today uh, will focus on the evolution and enhancement introduce, introduced in Ducho 2.0 a framework designed to streamline and improve the extraction of multimodal features. And this framework is helpful for developing an advanced in multimodal recommender system that can leverage data from various sources, such as text, visual, or audio um, uh, files. Let's begin to discuss the importance of multimodal um, recommender system. These systems utilize multiple data sources to enhance the representation of the items, addressing common issues like data sparsity, for example, or often the inexplicable nature of uh, um, user action, such as clicks or views. And uh, um, we want to integrate this multimodal data to, can to um, significantly improve the accuracy and relevance of uh, the personalization of this system. Multimodal recommender system utilize these uh, visual data, such as product image, or review from these products provided by the user, or if possible, also the audio features coming from these items. By combining all these features, we create a richer and more comprehensive uh, perspective to understand both the items and user uh, preferences, leading more personalized and, and effective uh, recommenders. However, extracting high quality of multimodal features is crucial and remains a challenging task. The quality of these features affect and impact the performance of the recommendation systems. Therefore, a robust and efficient uh, framework to uh, extract these multimodal features is necessary. Our goal is to provide a more robust and up-to-date framework for the extraction of, the of these multimodal features, ultimately enhancing the performance of recommender system. In the past, several limitations emerged in, uh, in this area. Indeed, there is no exist multimodal recommender system framework uh, um, unified. For this reason, researchers and devel developers often had a, um, play a sort of strife with a fight with this uh, uh, different solution, especially because there is this lack of robust robustness and reproducibility across different frameworks. And there is no user-friendly and customizable um, interface to, uh, let's say, put all these features together in the end. To address this issue, we introduced Ducho, the, the first version of this work. Um, and this framework aimed to provide a unified interface for multimodal feature extraction, simplify this, the process and making it more efficient by leveraging just one uh, YML configuration file. And uh, by this configuration file, it's possible to, let's say, uh, manage all these, uh, uh, let's say, complicated world of multimodal features. Uh, with Ducho, it's possible to integrate um, widely adopted deep learning libraries, TensorFlow, PyTorch, or Transformer by uh, um, Agiface. And uh, uh, this framework supports both item and user extraction sources, offering a, uh, a very versatile, versatile tool for various recommender scenario. With Ducho 2.0, we aim to, let's say, introduce several enhancements focusing, uh, focusing especially on the customization and standardization uh, for the process. These improvements include faster and data loading storing through PyTorch data loaders, enabling efficient data handling, we also introduce custom image preprocessing techniques, such as zeta score normalization in max, uh, allowing users to tailor their preprocessing uh, for their specific needs. Moreover, with Ducho 2.0, we support the use of custom models and tokenizer, uh, providing flexibility in choosing the best tools for feature extraction. It also allows to direct multimodal extraction using large mo uh, models like Clip enhancing the ability to process and fuse multimodal data effectively. The architecture of Ducho 2.0 is designed to be robust and user-friendly. The framework supports multiple libraries, including Aginface, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. 
user can access this functionality through a YML configuration file. And in the, uh, our uh, uh, repository GitHub, we have uh, a uh, documentation that provides step by step all the, uh, let's say, important uh, point to accomplish to build this uh, configuration file. And this file make it, make it easy to set up and customize the uh, extraction pipeline. Extracted features uh, are serialized in NumPy format and uh, are useful to, let's say, serve this uh, rec multimodal recommender system wi with a unified perspective from the, user, uh, from the uh, feature extraction. These are a simple uh, configuration file for Dujo 2.0. It's not uh, <laughs> visible, but in light green, we evidence the, let's say, difference between Ducho 1.0 and Ducho 2.0. It's possible to set up the uh, input path and the uh, models across different, uh, let's say, modality, visual, textual, and combining visual and textual with, for example, clip. You can set up uh, a, a custom model uh, that you, let's say, train on your custom uh, uh, machine with, uh, uh, let's say, impose the uh, architecture and the uh, um, file name of your weights, or use model coming from, uh, let's say, uh, some uh, hugging face or transformers. And then you can run your extraction. At this uh, uh, link, if you scan the code, it's possible to, let's say, have a um, simple benchmarking. This benchmarking is based on fashion recommendation. We have as input data, uh, fashion data with images and uh, item metadata, textual. Um, if I remember correctly, it's uh, Amazon baby data set. We use uh, uh, three different um, configuration. Uh, one is uh, with ResNet and uh, uh, sentence BERT. The second one is uh, with a simple uh, train based uh, tra train model that we uh, built uh, in our lab and then we in use also the uh, clip to fuse multimodal uh, visual and textual uh, and this cl this uh, model is hosted on a game face the output is an empire array for all these modalities with this output we let's say have this uh, uh, comparison we put together visual and textual with ResNet and sentence BERT, visual and textual with our MM fashion model and sentence BERT, and visual and textual together with CLIP. We, uh, let's say, uh, benchmark these three very simple uh, multimodal uh, recommended system, BBPR, BM3, and Freedom, and we got these results. We have just one, uh, let's say, input. Our configuration file, we extract all these uh, features, and we feed this feature in Elliot, another framework that we develop in our lab to benchmark this model. So to conclude, Ducho 2.0 represents an advancement in the field of multimodal recommended system and it offers improved framework customization and optimization, supporting advancing back-end multimodal configuration and large models, uh, and large multimedia models. User can improve custom uh, extraction layers and pre-processing tasks such as custom image normalization and use efficient data loading and storage with Python custom data loaders. With, with Ducho 2.0 also enables enhancement modality fusion through multimodal by design extraction models like CLIP, provide a powerful tool for researcher and practitioner to push the boundaries of multimodal recommend recommendation. Thank you for your attention and uh, if you have further questions please don't hesitate to contact us. These uh, are the repository GitHub of Ducho with the documentation for each piece of our configuration file and to, let's say, build this one. And uh, last but not least, please have the chance to, let's say, read our recent uh, theoretical and experimental survey about multimodal recommended system that is just upset at uh, TORS. Thank you very much.